Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Mishirko here. We're going to be taking a look at our toy design challenge today. In our toy design challenge, as we open it up here in Schoology, we are working on step two, which is, is defining the problem. In defining the problem, we need to figure out what the heck it is we're going to try to do. You know, when we look at our background, what's given to us, it says here that our, your team has been hired to develop a new toy for a restaurant chain children's meal. You need to design a movie, sport, or game theme mechanical toy. You need to pitch a theme and a prototype of your team's design to the restaurant executives. You will construct a physical prototype of your toy design. Instructions said here read, read that we're going to use the attached design brief template to help define the pro problem so you can completely understand what we need to do to resolve the challenge. Looking at our waterfall diagram here, you see the first phase of the project is initiate. And it says here, we're going to define the project scope and understand the project in second phase and plan, and then execute and close. So, so far we have been given some constraints and a deadline. That's all provided by us. The next step, which we're working on right now is understanding the project and we're developing a design brief. <clears throat> So right up here, this is the project background and charter for us. And our design brief is attached here. So we just click on that to download it and then open it up. And you can see here that we have just a blank document with a bunch of questions. So these are important questions we need to answer before we try to solve our problem. It's a big deal because if we just go rushing off to de making decisions about what our solution is going to be, we might miss important details about what are required of us. So let's go ahead and start thinking about this. So our client, that's who's paying for the project, right? So let's go ahead and take a let's go ahead and take a look at our at our project background. Uh, you've been hired to develop a to new toy design. A restaurant children's meal so client in that case is going to be that restaurant so we've got a restaurant chain you can pick your own for this for this project that's our client okay our target consumer hmm who's going to be the intended user well let's see we have a a separation here because we have the restaurant chain is doing the paying, but the consumer is not going to be is not our is not our direct client. Our direct client is that restaurant. So the consumer, it's uh, the parents are going to be coming in, but they're going to be giving it to their kids. So this is a children's meal. So the intended the intended user of this end product is children, and specifically children dining their parents with their parents. At a, at, a, at a chain restaurant okay so what is that problem that we're trying to solve I and mean, why do we want to solve it well in our case we have to look back at our our client and we probably don't have it super clearly stated and that's pretty normal uh, People come in and they tell you what they want or what they think they want, but a lot of times what people say they want isn't exactly what they need. So we need to just come in here and see if we can decipher what is really needed. So your team has been hired by a restaurant chain. Uh, you designed a movie theme or a game theme, mechanical toy. You need to pitch a theme. So all we know here is that they want a toy for a children's meal. So obviously they have it in their mind that this is the problem they're trying to solve. Uh, that their problem will be solved by that. And so we got to think about what, what what problem can be solved by by this children's meal. Well, let's see. Um, the restaurant is clearly trying to attract is trying to attract young families or families with young ch children. Okay, so the restaurant's trying to attract families with young children uh, so they can make some money off off of the meal sales. 
because those children's meals they don't sell much. They don't. They don't. They don't um, sell. They sell a lot of them, but they don't sell for a lot of money. So what are we going to design? Hmm. By this point in the process, we don't know the solution. If you're coming out here and saying, I'm going to design a yo-yo, then you are going yo too fast. So you be the yo-yo at that point. So what are we trying to design? Well, we're trying to design um, a toy for a children's meal. I mean, that's what it says here. We're hired a new toy. That's what we've been hired to do. So we're going to design a toy for a children's meal. Um, and if we don't do that, we haven't solved this problem. Uh, we're not going to meet the requirements of our customers. So we're going to design All right. Um, so let's see. What does that toy need to do? Hmm. We can think about the materials, time, money, requirements. The criteria constraints here are the things that we need to do, right? What that what that project needs to meet and what are our constraints. Now, does this project have a deadline? Uh, Friday, no, that's not the one. Let's go back to the whole project. Let's see what's our, our project. Project is due December 21st. So we have a deadline to finish this project by December 21st. So let's go back to our design brief. So deadline is our time. We've got a deadline. Um, materials. Well, let's see. Um, we're building a prototype, so we can build any use any prototyping materials. We don't really have any limitations on that, but we do want to have an emphasis on the things that we have access to, and Uh, we have, and also we need to consider, emphasize things that that can be produced um, affordably. And are appropriate in a restaurant. Okay, but we're going to stick with affordable. Um, money. Hmm. Money is always, always a factor. Well, let's see. Uh, we did some right off the bat. We have to. We, we don't have a specific dollar value identified in our problem statement and in our background here, but we do know that it's going in that children's meal. And if we were to go and look up children's meal prices, uh, we know that those tend to be in the sub five dollar range. So this needs to be something that can be distributed with a children's meal that sells for less than five dollars so we're probably looking at around a dollar retail value so we're trying to keep our product produ our prototype in a produced in a value where the total materials and work that goes into it is less than a dollar per unit so let's go ahead and just put in here the less than one dollar per unit design cost. all right um let's see people involved you've got a team it's just that's you and your teammates um you also have what other people involved in this um what other people do you have involved in this? You have your, you have the, the, the restaurant um, buyers. We've got the client. Uh, we've got parents and children. Those are important people to consider in the process. Okay, They're not directly involved, but they are definitely people we need to consider. We might want to survey them and find out some concept. Uh, tools and other limitations, expectations, project here. Okay, um, Tools. We have access to, uh, just for our purposes, we have access to basic uh, hand tools. 
for prototyping. We also have um, CAD software and 3D printers, uh, laser cutters, uh, and we have some some light machine tools, but we'll get that. Uh, we'll call it. We'll categorize those. Categorize those into basic hand tools. Um, let's go back. It says other. Let's see what else we have. Um, Movie sports. Okay, uh, it needs to have a theme, so we got to consider that. And what else did it say? Uh, mechanical. This is a big one. And slipped that in there, didn't they? Okay, let's see. Mechanical. Mechanical means it's got moving parts. So it needs to have moving parts. Wow. Anything else they snuck in there? Uh, we need a pitch to your exhibit. Okay, pitch to there. Okay, pitch, pitch, pitch. What's a pitch? Oh, a sales pitch. Oh, okay. We need to be able to convince. We need to. We're gonna have to present this. And we need to construct a physical prototype of your toy design. So let's go on back to our design brief and see where that puts us off. Um, so we need. Uh, so what about that deliverables? Oh, we're gonna okay. So what we're gonna do to deliver to our customer, we're gonna need to provide them with a prototype, and we need to provide them with a sales pitch or presentation. And that's your design brief. Uh, so you can see how taking the time to carefully read through the problem and asking this series of questions can really help you understand your problem. Uh, just a quick glance of this project probably had you overlooking some of these some of these details and this is a big deal if you want to solve this and get it do a great job on it. So hopefully this explains how this works out for you and uh, go create cool stuff and as always keep being awesome.